Don Moody here of CondoRenew.ca and HandymanReality.com. Oh, don't I look sexy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here <clears throat> looking at this Mansfield toilet. And uh, it's been doing some strange stuff. Uh, generally uh, refilling on its own, which tends to be a sign of that there is a seal down at the bottom here, uh, which on a lot of toilets would be a toilet flapper. But on this particular one, it is a rubber seal. Uh, and the fact that the tank was sitting empty all the time tells me that uh, uh, this particular unit, the fill valve, or ball cock, some people call it, um, was getting sticky. So I've replaced this, and now I'm interested in, I've replaced the seal down in the bottom here, and I'll explain that to you with my spare tower while I investigate what's going on here with this toilet to see if I actually need to replace part of the tower or the whole tower. And I can hear a trickling sound at the moment, which is kind of giving me the idea. And I see the trickling down here. It's giving me the idea that I need to replace the whole tower. And there we go with a refill. Now, when I first replace one of these, what I like to do is see if I can just press down and if I can stop the water from moving. If I press down and stop the water from moving, then it's the seal itself. If I, uh, uh, if not, then what's happening is, is that the tower, one of the tower parts, has become cracked. So here, let me just take the top off here, which unscrews the uh, toilet flush handle goes right through here. This top part of this tower comes up. As you can see in this banjo, it's a little bit of fun getting it out. And then here is the rubber seal interesting part about the rubber seal is, is that there's a channel that's above the bottom of the toilet that the rubber seal goes into. So let me pull this one out. And now you can see the channel <clears throat> where the rubber seal goes into, right in there. Tricky part of putting one of these in is making sure that it seats in that channel and only in that channel. And then after you've gotten it, uh, which by the way, one-handed is really, really challenging to do. Uh, I don't know, maybe a plumber will come along and point out how to Now, one of the common problems is you put it in and see this little edge here? It's not actually in. So you need to mess with this up and down to make sure it seats well in there. Because what happens is the bottom of this has the opportunity to push that down and create the seal and you just pop this back on top so now this whole unit is right there so uh, that's how I diagnose a uh, Mansfield toilet for its filling issues and uh, I replace the seal to stop it from doing just that. You see that little dent in the water? That little trickle? So this one, even though it has a new seal, 
is still doing it. So odds are it's going to need to settle in. So I'm going to have to mess with it a little bit up and down. I just made it do it more. And now it's finally stopping. So there's a bit of monkeying around with it. It's not quick, simple, and easy. But you can just see the edge of the red seal down there. Just like you see it here. So anyways, this has been Don Moody of uh, handymanreality.com of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada and condorenew.ca Have a day, great day now. Bye-bye.